right now I'm on um, on a Windows machine. Oh, well, first of all, I'm now going to give a demo of the connection to the um, Triton cluster. So the one for Alto. So this is I what strongly, we need, this is what we I need to know for tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Because um, basically, as you heard earlier, you may even you might have even seen some pictures in the hack and D that the idea that the cluster is a collection of these computing nodes, multiple computers, and right now with this terminal that you see here, this is just my local laptop. And right now I could run some software, but it would just run here locally. But instead, you know, tomorrow you will you will see how we can connect to these remote mm -hmm. machines and from there run run things by, for example, requesting more more um, memory or more computing power and things like that. So what we need to test now is that our account actually works to connect to the cluster. I highly recommend the people from Ensk University, Ampere University and Oulu to go to the Zoom and find the breakout room with the people from your university because after or before they see our even, demo. Even now, because in a way, maybe the, the relevant forensic university, there is um, Tecometsa for um, Tampere, we have Mikantila, and for um, Oulu, what's his name, Pekka Söderström, they, they can um, they can give you, you know, they can give you this demo, like like I'm giving it to the to the Alto people. But anyway, for those who wanna see how we connect at Alto, so right now this is an Alto machine, and so my username that I see in the terminal is the the username that I also have at Alto. If you are not sure, if you type who am I, it actually tells you what is your username. So if the command who am I is not gonna show your Alto username, then you know that you're not on an Alto machine, which means that you need to specify your username because otherwise, you know, if the username for me in this machine would have been Enrico, then when I try to tell to the remote machine that I'm the user Enrico, they will be like, sorry, we don't have anyone with this with this username. So then um, now the command that we use to connect to a remote cluster from the terminal is the command SSH. And Specifically, if I would have a different username, I would need to type my username and the name of the remote machine. So the name of the machine is like, looks basically something like you would type for looking for a website. So this is a so-called URL. And specifically for our Triton cluster is triton.alto.v. And then I put the username in front of it. Of course, this is, this is useless in this case because I'm already on a machine where the username is is the same but you know if you want to be explicit you can put your, your your username there then i would press enter and because this is not the first time that i'm going to do it i will just be able to connect and log in and see the login screen but most likely in your case if this is the first time you do it you will be asked this is the kind of fingerprint of the remote server do you want to continue and then you will need to type yes and then after that, it might ask for your password. Now, in the case, in my case, because I've already connected to the cluster and I even exchanged my SSH keys with the cluster, then I can log in basically without using any password. And now I press enter and the hmm. demo effect kicks <laughs> <laughs> in. So and what could be wrong? I rerun it again, it's like the network error. Mm, okay. I'm also one thing that I did mention that I'm in the so-called Alto VPN. So mm. the, um, I'm at the campus actually. So after this goes, I will show you the how to do it if you were not in the VPN. So right now you see that the terminal has changed. Now these colors and these other things might relate to the settings of your terminal. But if I'm typing the common host name, which basically I'm asking the machine, tell me your name. And here it's login three dot triton dot alto dot fee. Right. So this is the so called login node that is, is is one node, but it's not a computing node. This is just for entering the cluster. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow from here you can edit your files, you can run uh, Python scripts or any other scripts. Yeah. So what if you aren't on the university network? Yeah. 
So if you're not on the VN, then you need to kind of jump first on another on another host first. That that basically is kind of you basically need to reach the Alto network. And uh, one way of doing it, for example, is to SSH to one of these SSH nodes that are available for everyone at Alto with an Alto account. So now I start fresh again. I'm back to my to my laptop. One of these nodes is Kosh. So kosh.alto.fi. This mm -hmm. is shared by everyone, even by the students. Then there will be another one, which is talta.alto.fi. That is only for those who have um, a personal basic. Well, let's try Kosh, which should be the most accessible one. And let's see if the demo effect kicks in again. So same story. If this is the first time that you connect to this login node of the Alto network, it will ask you, do you trust this machine? And you will need to type yes. Here, I've been already connected many times, so I didn't need to, to type this. And now I'm inside Kosh. So basically I'm in a different node on a different on a different machine. And then from here I could then SSH to Triton mm -hmm. the Talco.c. And what does this fingerprint thing mean? Well, that's a good question, actually. <laughs> I mean the the idea is that we we are now trusting that that the name, you know, when I when I type this um, uh, okay. No. Well, what happened? My... Hmm. Must be well, crashed. I guess I can. But actually, this is a good moment that I can. I wanted to share something in our <laughs> in our workflows that um, and then maybe Richard, you can prepare a yeah. terminal to talk mm -hmm. about fingerprints, but. Mm -hmm. um, Basically, you might have seen this picture already in the HackMD, but this is where we are right now, so that uh, we are on the internet and mm -hmm. we are connected to the internet from wherever you are. And then if you are familiar with what is a VPN, you can connect to the VPN so that you're inside the Alto network. And then you can SSH to this node, Triton.alto.fi, like I did. Or if you are not on the internet, then you can access one of these uh, other nodes. There's Brute and Force for students, there's Magiam or Kosh and others. And then again, you go inside the Alto network and then go to, to the Triton, to the Triton cluster. Yeah. So now if you want to talk about the keys, I don't well, know if you can steal this. There's but, not really much I wanted to say other than you see this message saying, do you want to accept the fingerprint? You should click yes. And that means that every time you connect from then on, you know you're connecting to the same thing. And that means that SSH is secure from then on. And if you want to verify, some people would also go and make sure these numbers match what it should be yeah. to make sure you're connecting the right thing. But this is basically a good thing. Click yes, and if it ever changes, there's a way you can um, change this and like remove what the memory so um, maybe now this is a good moment for you to actually try to to connect yeah so how your cluster how does someone know when they're done and they can leave so if you are able to run the common the sh triton.alto.fi and mm -hmm. type host name and see that the output of the common is um is um login three .triton.alto.fi for Alto users, mm -hmm. then you're basically done and ready for for tomorrow. Yeah. And now we can switch to the to the Zoom for those who have issues with the connecting to the cluster. So yeah. there's many breakout room and helpers there. And you know, we can take So there's one thing I'd like to show first. So at the bottom of HackMD there is a feedback section. So please um give us feedback please say one good thing and one thing to be improved of the course um especially what can be improved um yeah that's what we need to know for next time 
we don't want to live in this echo chamber here.